Tough talking is always available in the sport of boxing. And here, as of today, we have a little bit more from the middleweight division. And things could heat up very quickly. What am I speaking on? I'm speaking on the WBO middleweight champion Janabek Alomhalini who is now issuing a mandate toward Carlos Adamas where he's telling Adamas that Adamas would be easy work for him interesting stuff because I've watched Janabek for a little bit and I am impressed with his intensity in the ring. Uh, he does appear to have ring IQ and with his current record of 15 and 0 and 10 KOs, he has shown both a propensity to get guys out of there as well as struggle at times with more crafty fighters who have boxing tools. Now, as far as Janabek, there's a Boxing Scene article produced earlier today. Link will be in the description box where he's charging that Carlos Adamas you are easy work for me. And the article goes on to state it doesn't matter how much time has passed. Janabek seldom forgets anything. Carlos Adamas didn't have the sort of success at 154 that many believed he would when he was given a chance to fight for an interim title in 2019. He was dropped and lost convincingly to Patrick Texiera who happens to own that one defeat over Adamas. There was no rematch. So, the article goes on to state quite effectively and emphatically since then Adamas who's current record is centered at 23 and 1 with 18 KOs. He has packed his super welterweight bags and headed to the middleweight division. And so far so good. He's racked up five consecutive wins, four coming by stoppage and an interim title. Now with at least a secondary strap sitting on his mantle, Adamis believes he's ready to take on the big boys. Over the last few months, the 29-year-old spent his time calling out Janabek. Although Adamis has proven that he's new and an improved fighter at 160, Janabek isn't buying it. You were knocked out at 154 pounds, said Alunghulne on his social media account. 
You are easy work for me. Everyone knows this. Janabek's words were a bit erroneous considering that Adamus was dropped, not stopped, against Texiera. It may have taken a bit of time, but Janabek is getting exactly what he wished for. He recently annihilated Vincenzo Gualtieri and ripped away his IBF crown in the process. Currently, he's the only fighter in the middleweight division with two world titles in his possession. More than anything, Janabek wants to add to his belt collection. Once all four straps belong to him, he plans on moving up immediately. Unfortunately for Adamus, his secondary title doesn't fit the mold. With that, the 30-year-old is warming up to the idea of fighting him. He still doesn't believe it would be competitive, but a matchup between them could be on the verge of taking place. My thoughts on this. Janabek, to me, has not done enough to earn that position of talking tough. Some of the fighters that he has faced haven't been stalwarts. A lot of them have been easy touches and they have found themselves on the losing end easily because of Janabek's strength. And though he's not a one-punch knockout fighter, he's very strong at middleweight. Adamis is strong, period. And could present some problems to Janabek. But as Patrick Texiera has already exposed Adamas is not the best boxer in the world but he is a brute he's strong he has clubbing shots and he can be out thought and therefore out fought so there are advantages that Janibet could enjoy against him but who would win such a matchup between these two men it doesn't look like Maul Charlo is ready to take on the likes of either of these men anytime soon. So a matchup between the two sometime early 2024 would be something to look forward to in the middleweight division. But I really wonder, does Adamus want that smoke? He has yet to respond to Janabek. And that doesn't mean anything. Social media is an outlet now where people can get on and talk as much as they want to. But when you have fighters who have ego, sometimes this could be the start of something hot. I don't know, but I look forward to the middleweight division shaking itself out in the ensuing months and the upcoming year. 2023 has been a blessing to us all, boxing-wise, as far as the matchups and what could be the next thing. So hopefully, as we end this year and venture into 2024, things can continue. But what do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Do you think that this is a middleweight matchup that you would like to see? Janabek and Adamis. Leave comments and let's discuss further. It could be hot. Peace to everyone out there. And everyone, please remain safe.